Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the campus of SUNY Oneonta, the Red Dragon soccer field, for the first round of the 2011 NCAA Division III soccer tournament alongside Greg Barra, I am Billy Blake. The Oneonta Red Dragons are hosting the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets today. In the second game here from Oneonta, earlier today, Penn State was able to beat Hobart 1 0, and Oneonta on their home field. Greg, how important is it that the Red Dragons get the home field advantage in this game today? Oh, absolutely. We've heard that they haven't lost in, in a, a in a while on their home turf. Home field advantage has been key for them. Uh, they are 14-2-2 two two this season. Baldwin Wallace, however, also a very good 16-5. and five. So it's going to be a very evenly matched game. Home field advantage definitely going to play a factor here today. Now let's talk about Eric Fortier a little bit for the Red Dragons, the junior, the SUNYAC player of the year this season for Oneonta. How important is it for the Red Dragons to get him going early and often in this game? Today? Oh, absolutely. He scored 10 goals this season. He is their offensive playmaker. He's got to get going if Oneonta really wants to win this game and move on and even move forward in the national championship tournament. Now let's talk about Baldwin Wallace, the team from Ohio, one of four teams from the state of Ohio representing that, that state in the NCAA tournament. They are led by Carlin Vandenjury, 16 goals on the year. Talk about him a little bit, Greg. You know, I talked to a, a Baldwin Wallace uh, coach, and he said that this guy is a very smart player. He's, he gets around the ball, and he makes, he makes plays happen. 16 goals in 21 games. Absolutely ridiculous. You have to be good to get 16 goals in 21 games. So... I have to say that Oneonta has got to have an X on his back at all times. It's the Red Dragons and the Yellow, and the Yellow Jackets coming up next here at Red Dragons Soccer Field. Please stay tuned. Thank you. 
14, Mitchell Kane. Number 14, Alex Shrelly. Number 16, Mike Bowler. Number 19, Ken Sagassi. Number 20, Madison Straw. Number 23, Dan Josepher. And now the starting lineup for Oneana State. Number 0, Max Siegelman. Number 5, Nicholas Gray. Number 7, Eric Fourier. Number 9, Gary Moran. Number 10, Nick Lane. Number 11, Matt Brown. Number 15, Jeff Christian. Number 17, Dan Stock. Number 18, Ray Fitzpatrick. Number 29, J.P. Arena. Number 30, Justin Rivera. The assistant coaches for the Red Dragons, John Cook and Jeff Moore. And the head coach of the Red Dragons, Ian Byrne. There will be no anthem for this game. Play on the bus to both teams. Coach of the Year, and Eric Fortier again the SUNYAC Player of the Year. So Oneonta dominating the SUNYAC Conference this season. Oneonta in the white jerseys with the red numbers going from left to right, and we are underway. And Baldwin Wallace wearing the visiting brown tops with the yellow, with the excuse me, the white shorts. And that ball goes out of bounds for the Oneonta throwing. Again, this is a 90-minute marathon. A lot of emotion and energy in the first few minutes of this game, but... And that's, what we, that's what we saw in, in the first game uh, with Penn State and Hobart. Penn State uh, was able to really control the first few minutes, get an early goal in the 15th minute, and, and they were able to uh, take that game, although Hobart played a spectacular second half. There's a goal kick for Baldwin Wallace. Back around midfield, teams battling for possession. And it comes down on the foot of Oneonta's number 18, Ryan Fitz Ray Fitzpatrick. It's a good idea, trying to look for Matt Brown as Baldwin Wallace will have it. Baldwin Wallace from the All-Ohio Athletic Conference. They had three players represent them on the conference teams. Defender Andy Thompson and leading goal scorer Carlin Van Den Driesch on the first team. And Pat Brennan, the lone player on the Yellow Jackets to make the second team all conference. And there is a, there's Max Siegelman, the senior keeper. One of five players on the first team all conference. He was joined alongside by Nick Gregg, Jonathan Kowalski, Gary Laronde, and Eric Fortier. And then the second team all conference had two Red Dragons on, on that team. That was Ray Fitzpatrick and Dan Scott. And Matt Brown and Dan Josepher represented Oneonta on the all conference third team. There's a throw in along the far sidelines. And it is back out of bounds for another Red Dragon throw in taken by Dan Scott. And the ball back to the Baldwin Wallace keeper and he'll clear it downfield. Charlie Hale. Excuse me, Ryan Hollings, the Baldwin Wallace goalkeeper. Oneonta with possession. There's Justin Rivera at midfield. 
played over to Josepher. Ball played across the field in front of the Oneonta bench. Nick Lang tried to keep it in bounds, but he could not for the Baldwin Wallace throw in. Baldwin Wallace, 16 and 5 overall in this season, and Oneonta, 14, 2 and 2. Ball back to Ray Fitzpatrick. Now over to Nicholas Craig. Looking up for 40A. And Baldwin Wallace was able to break that up for the moment. Ball to Nick Lang, to Laron. Gary Laron crosses it in the box, but Baldwin Wallace is able to clear it away. Nick Lang battling with Noah Eubanks. Ball in the corner. And Gary Laron will not be able to get there. It will be a goal kick for the Yellow Jackets. Oneonta 14-2-2. Entering the NCAA tournament. Their non conference schedule was highlighted by a game right here at Red, Drag Red Dragon Soccer Field against Christopher Newport, who at the time was the number one team in the nation. Here is a free kick for Baldwin Wallace. In the fifth minute of play, Early stages of this first half, no score. Lots of contact there, and a foul called on Oneonta. Another free kick for the Yellow Jackets. This one will be about 30 yards out. We'll see if they play it in or try to have a strike on Max Edelman. Andrew Thompson set to take the free kick for the Yellow Jackets. And there's a goal! A beautifully placed ball by Andrew Thompson in the top right corner. Max Siegelman with a diving effort, but to no avail. And the Yellow Jackets strike first in the fifth minute of play. Wow, five, uh, the fifth minute of play, nothing you can do if you're Max Siegelman. That's a perfectly struck ball. Andy Thompson, one of two players on the first team in the All-Ohio Athletic Conference, showing it right there with a superb kick in the top right corner. Max Siegelman with a great effort, but could not get it. Oneonta on the attack. Let's see how they rebound after that early score. Jeff Christian plays it back to Ray Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick looking for Gary Laurent. Justin Rivera battling in the box. Over to Christian, taking away for the moment. That ball played back to Matt Brown. Nick Lang gets around one defender. Try to find Justin Rivera. That ball was taken away by number 19, Pete Chaudrison. Matt Brown showing a nice effort to get that ball back. Over to Ray Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick looking for Rivera, but it was out of reach, and it will be a Baldwin Wallace throwing. A huge crowd on hand, mostly Oneonta supporters in the crowd. There are a few fans that made the trip from Ohio to support Baldwin Wallace. And let's take a look at that replay of the goal by Andrew Thompson. Nothing you can do. A beautifully placed ball, and Baldwin Wallace putting the pressure on Oneonta on their home field to take the 1 0 lead. Matt Brown clears that ball away right in front of the Baldwin Wallace bench. Throw in for the Yellow Jackets. And Judson Sprandle will throw the ball in for Baldwin Wallace. Ball thrown all the way into the box. Team's battling, it's just cleared away. Will not be a corner kick, will be another throw in for Baldwin Wallace. Sprandle gets a running start. 
Ball in the box. Oniats is able to head it out for the moment, and that shot goes up and over the crossbar. Oniata can take a sigh of relief as that ball goes up and over. A good opportunity for the Yellow Jackets to go up 2-0 early on in the game. Max Siegelman will set up for this goal kick. Nick Lang is there for the Red Dragons. Now the ball's over to Matt Brown. Brown looking up to Gary Laron. And that one goes out of bounds before Laron can get there. Baldwin Wallace throwing. Eighth minute of play, a 1-0 lead for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. A goal by Andrew Thompson off of a free kick. Throwing for the Red Dragons. Dan Scott plays it over to Justin Rivera. Ball to Christian. Looking for Laronde. And there's a shot. Looked like Fortier was looking for Laronde to run off of that, but he didn't see it. Ryan Hewlings boots that ball away. Baldwin Wallace possesses at midfield. It's Thompson. Looking for Vince Milner along the far sidelines. And there's a turnover, Oniata now with possession. Rivera looking to go upfield, he goes down. And it will be a foul on Baldwin Wallace, Oniata free kick up coming up. A quick free kick for Dan Scott as he plays it over to Nick Gregg. And another throw in for Baldwin Wallace. So we're, we played about nine minutes of soccer. Greg, a, a pretty quick pace so far. Yeah, and uh, both teams trying to feel each other out thus far. And uh, on that, that one goal, it was beautifully struck. Lang with possession. Over to Christian. Now to Rivera. Vince Milner on Justin Rivera. Ball in the box. Gary Laron with it over to Rivera. Oh, There's what a shot! And what a, a save! Save by Ryan Hewlings. What a save there by the keeper from uh, Baldwin Wallace. But Oniata, the early have gotten a few looks, Ryan, so you have to be happy about that. Ryan Hewlings, the junior, outstretching his arm, and he was able to make the save on the Justin Rivera shot. Baldwin Wallace now threatening. And now a foul on Oniata. Here's a replay. Rivera with the shot and a beautiful save by Ryan Hewlings. And here we go. We have another opportunity for Baldwin Wallace. This free kick just about in the same spot as the first one. Andrew Thompson already connected on one of them. There's a shot and it goes wide. Very dangerous on set pieces, it looks like for uh, Baldwin Wallace. And it looked as if only had to added a few more players to the wall on the free kick the second time around on Andrew Thompson, knowing that he's able to pull it in the back of the net. Siegelman with the goal kick. Justin Rivera chasing it down for Oniata. Keeps it in bounds and it's headed on by the Yellow Jackets' Vince Milner. Baldwin Wallace with possession. And that one will roll out of bounds for another Oniata goal kick. Not a cloud in the sky, but it is a crisp Saturday afternoon in Oneonta. Another goal kick for Siegelman. Ball headed around and it's played back to Nick Gregg. 
Greg looking for Laurent. Laurent is able to get around one defender. He's in the box, and he looks for a teammate, but it's cleared away by Baldwin Wallace. It's a good look there by Gary Laurent, trying to slot it in front of the goal. Player in the way. Now a goal kick coming up for the Yellow Jackets, and you look at this Oneonta roster, a, a very heavy senior team, 12 seniors to be exact, on this Red Dragons roster. This is their year for them to try to get it done and bring a national championship to Oneonta. Hewlings with the Yellow Jackets goal kick. Ball booted up in the air. And it comes back to Oneonta's Ray Fitzpatrick. Looking up for Gary Laron. Trey Artie is there for Baldwin Wallace. And it's out of bounds for the Oneonta throwing. And, that, and now another throwing for the Red Dragons. 14th minute of play in this first half. The Yellow Jackets with a 1-0 lead. And there's a foul on Baldwin Wallace. A free kick in a pretty good spot for Odeonta. Looks like four, uh, Dan seven, Scott. Dan Scott going to take this one. Odeonta getting set in the box. Baldwin Wallace clears what it out. Another block shot. And that one will roll all the way out of bounds. Rivera with a rip. Oneonta has gotten deep into Baldwin Wallace territory, but the Yellow Jackets defenders have been able to find a way to block the shot for the moment so far through the first 15 minutes of this game. Oneonta is, is looking crisp, though. They really are looking uh, uh, good so far. Once again, and that's a shot in. And that's uh, going to be saved. But they've been looking good so far. Beat by that one free kick. But we'll see how they, they come out in the rest of the first half. Matt Brown looking for Gary Laron. Baldwin Wallace doing all they can to keep it away from Laron. And they were successful yet again. Ball over to Dan Scott looking up for Rivera. Rivera swarmed by two or three Yellow Jacket defenders. Ball in the corner. And it will be a Yellow Jacket goal kick. Hewling's taking his time to set up here for this goal kick. It's been a pretty fast paced game through the first 16 minutes of this first round soccer game and Baldwin Wallace with the 1-0 lead but Oneonta has put a lot of pressure on the Yellow Jackets defenders. Rivera plays it to the middle of the field but nobody home for Oneonta. Oneonta with possession. Justin Rivera gets around one defender. Over to J.P. Arenas. Oneonta in the corner with it. And a corner kick coming up for Oneonta. Eric Fortier drew the corner kick for the Red Dragons. And it's going to be Dan Scott taking the corner. See if Oneonta can put something on frame here. Scott is ready to go. Kick is up. Oh, Ball headed around and it takes a bounce before Ryan Hewlings corrals it and throws it upfield quickly, trying to catch Oneonta off guard. Baldwin Wallace crossing midfield, looking up for number 16, Pat Brennan. Good job by Nick Gregg to stop that attack. And here he is. Oneonta did a great job of getting back on the play as Baldwin Wallace tried to catch them sleeping. 
Ball back to Siegelman. Fitzpatrick tries to slow it down and he'll play it back to the keeper. Ball booted away by Siegelman. Yellow Jackets with possession. Trying to get it to Noah Eubanks in the middle of the field. But Oniata forces the turnover. A little miscommunication between J.P. Arenas and Gary Laron results in the Baldwin-Wallace throwing. And it's back to Fitzpatrick. Over to Scott. Looking for Rivera, who plays it right back to Scott. Quick touches here for Odianta. Back to dance, back to Nick Gregg. Arenas. Nice turn there by Arenas. Arenas battling with Noah Eubanks. And it's over to Nick Lang. Lang plays it in the box and it's knocked away, but it will be a corner kick for the Red Dragons. 19th minute, a 1-0 lead for the Yellow Jackets of Baldwin-Wallace. Oneonta with an opportunity to tie it up on this corner kick. Dan Scott took a corner kick earlier. Now Nick Lang will get a shot with this corner kick. And Baldwin-Wallace is able to clear it. Ball played back to Nick Gregg. Fitzpatrick, he wound up for a shot and it was partially deflected over to Lang. Lang with a left footed shot, that one is also cleared out. Now it's Arenas, over to Brown, over to Nick Lang. And Baldwin Wallace clears it out. Oneonta will get the throw in right in front of their own bench. Fitzpatrick. Nice ball. To Larod. Nice, nice play there. There's Jeff Christian. Now Eric Fortier with it in the box. Nice rip. Jeff Christian rips that one and it's shot wide. That would have been wide anyway, but kept in play. And Baldwin Wallace tries to clear it away. Right to the foot of Raymond Fitzpatrick. Over to Brown. Back over to Lang. Now Arenas. Gets it back to Lang. Ball in the box. And the goalkeeper, Ryan Hillings, comes out and scoops it up. Only out to putting a lot of pressure on Baldwin Wallace, though. You got to be happy if you're coaching and burn. That was a good 60 to 90 second stretch of Oneonta on the attack, and they weren't able to get a goal on the board. Hewling's coming well out of the net. Now he finally kicks it away. It's played all the way back to the other keeper, other keeper Max Siegelman. Be sure to download your official NCAA Championship digital game program to your laptop or mobile device at NCAA.com. A big kick there by Siegelman, but Baldwin Wallace comes away with possession. Here's Thompson, crosses midfield. Nick Lang on him. Thompson was looking for Noah Eubanks, but Oniato was able to clear it away. The Yellow Jackets regain possession. Oh, this could be a problem. Here is Eubanks, and Siegelman comes all the way out, and it will be a throw in for Baldwin Wallace. A gutsy call by Siegelman to come out that far, but he was able to knock it away from Noah Eubanks. There was nobody else behind. He had to do it. Spreda with the throwing. All the way into the box. Headed out by 40A. Baldwin Wallace gets it back. Played across. And it goes out of bounds for the Oneonta goal kick. There you see Siegelman coming out of the net, knocking it away. 
heads up play by Max Siegelman. Ball comes down to Nick Gregg. JP Arenas in the middle of the field. Over to Lang. Lang just outside of the 18. He plays it over to Laron, but he was offsides. Only after putting some nice passes together, and they're just looking for that final one so they can put it in the back of the net. 23rd minute in the first half. Andrew Thompson scored on a free kick for the Yellow Jackets. However, Oneonta has had a lot of opportunities themselves to put a goal on the board, and Ryan Hewings, the goalkeeper for the Yellow Jackets, as well as the defenders for Baltimore Wallace, have done a great job so far in this game to keep it out of the net. A throw in for Baldwin Wallace. Again, Spranda will come over and throw it in for the Yellow Jackets. He's got that powerful throw. There's a collision between two players and it'll be a free kick for Baldwin Wallace. And Hewlings, the keeper, will, will come out near midfield to take this free kick. Noah Eubanks with the attempted shot, but he couldn't connect on it. Oneonta with possession. Arenas looking up for Laron. Cleared away by Andrew Thompson, but Laron is able to get it back. Gary Laron on a full sprint is able to force the corner kick. Oneonta putting pressure once again on Baldwin Wallace. Nick Lang will come over to take the corner kick. A very crucial corner kick at this point in the game. 25th minute of play. Oneonta searching for its first goal of the afternoon. That ball is headed up. And Baldwin Wallace clears it away. Matt Brown. Looking for Laurent, it's out of bounds. A throw and upcoming for Oneonta's Matt Brown. Laurent to Arenas. Looking for Jeff Christian, and that one goes up and over for the goal kick. And now we get our game's first substitution. I feel like Joseph really had time to maybe take a touch and have a better shot, but it was only out to getting good looks so far. Ben Dayton, number oh, 18. It's going to be a corner kick. It was deflected. It will be a corner kick, and Ben Dayton was all set, ready to come in for Baldwin Wallace, but he remains on the sidelines. The shot by Christian was deflected, setting up this only out to corner kick. Ball is up. Laron, that shot gets blocked. And Thompson is able to take the ball away from Gary Laron. And chasing that ball down for Oneonta was number 17, Dan Scott. Pat Brennan with a full head of steam for the Yellow Jackets. Couldn't get there in time. Turnover by Oneonta. Offsides on Baldwin Wallace. Good play by uh, Nick Gregg and uh, made the first play and forced Baldwin Wallace to be offsides. Fitzpatrick getting set. Looking up for 40A, but. Nice trap there by Nick Lang. Nick Gregg. Over to Lang, looking for Rivera. And now a foul on Baldwin Wallace, a, a free kick coming up for the Red Dragons.
Nick Lang getting set. Nick Lang and Dan Scott both near the ball. A wall of three defenders for the Yellow Jackets. Ball in the box, partially blocked, still loose in the box, and it's cleared away. Once again, Oniate is knocking at the door, and <laughs> they, they, just, uh, they just keep pressuring. It looks like they're just about to break through. It seems like a matter of not if, but when Oniate will score a goal. We They've had ample opportunities today, and we're only in the 28th minute of play. Lang getting set. Ball to the far post. Nobody there for the Red Dragons. Possession will stay with Odiata, but it will be a throw in. And, you know, it was the same situation with Hobart last, last game. They were right there. A lot, many opportunities were not able to break through, but it's a lot earlier here uh, in this game. Dan Scott on the throw in. Played into the box. Thompson is there to head it out of harm's way. Now he comes down with it. Over to Kirk Graff. Oh, he got to regain his possession. It's Fitzpatrick. Christian. Looking for Fortier, and Baldwin Wallace is able to keep it off the foot of Fortier. Turning up field is Pat Brennan. Baldwin Wallace crossing midfield. Nice play by Nick Gregg. The, the crowd really likes that play by Nick Gregg, keeping that ball away from Baldwin Wallace. It's again, another nice play by Nick Gregg. Nice defense. Here's Arenas. Arenas goes oh, down. They're going to call it the other way. I'm confused by that call. Interesting call there as Baldwin Wallace gets awarded the free kick. Ball over to Thompson. Thompson looking up for Vanden Dries. Nice play there. Nice ball to Gary Laron. Laron in the box, trying to turn the corner, and it's knocked away for the corner kick. Oniante is right there. Just about 15 minutes to go in the first half. It feels like the Red Dragons have a lead in this game, but Baldwin Wallace was able to get a goal early in the game on a free kick by Andrew Thompson to, to, to take a 1-0 lead. Lang takes his time. Ball to the far post. And it will be another corner kick. Oniante is a little bit too much on these corners. They need to maybe take it down just a little bit because uh, they're going. Really no one's there. Corner kick on the other side of the field now for Oniata. It's the freshman Justin Rivera who takes it. Jeff Christian got ahead on it. Over to Gary Larod. Dan Scott. And Dan Scott. But it keeps it keeps them deep in uh, their own territory because Baldwin Wallace won't have a goal kick. They'll have a throw in. And now number 18, Ben Dayton, will finally come into the game. He's been on the sidelines waiting to come in for quite some time. He replaces number 15, Ashkin Barabi. Eubanks with it for the Yellow Jackets. Looking up for Pat Brennan, but it was well out of reach, and Oniata will be awarded the throw in. And that one goes out of bounds, and a throw in for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. First ever appearance in the NCAA tournament for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets, and they don't seem like they are too intimidated by Oniata in front of their home crowd today. That's ball into ball. the box, Siegelman comes out. What a play by Siegelman though. 
and he was offsides. Kirk Graff was offsides for Baldwin Wallace. Kirk Graff gets back up for the Yellow Jackets as the clock was stopped momentarily in the 33rd minute. Players settling back downfield and play resumes and Siegelman kicks this ball away. Good play. Gary yeah. LaRon gonna try to get on it. Gary LaRon gets around Andrew Thompson. And now we get a goal kick. kick. A penalty yeah. kick. Penalty kick here. What a stunning turn of events. Andrew Thompson commits the foul in the box. A penalty kick coming up for the Red Dragons. A huge opportunity for Oneonta here. A clear penalty there on Baldwin Wallace. Because it, sure it was a scoring opportunity, it's going to be a fa uh, card, it looks like. Not sure if a card was issued or not on the play. Who will it be? It will be Nick Lang to be, uh, taking the count uh, Nick Lang getting set for the penalty kick. 33rd minute. one nothing lead for Baldwin Wallace. Here's Nick Lang. And, and he, he scores. scores! Nick Lang! And the fans are up here at Red Dragon Soccer Field. We are all tied up in the first round of the NCAA Tournament 1-1. Howling picked one way and Nick Lang went the other. And Nick Lang had let's such see, a... Let's see here, oh, the little stutter step down. Such a cool demeanor by Nick Lang on that PK. New life for the Red Dragons. Late in the first half as they tie this game up at one goal apiece. Ball played back to Max Siegelman. That should be a, a foul there over the back. That PK by Nick Lang definitely got this crowd back into it. As I said, Oneonta was knocking on the door. There's no closer than a PK. Here is Nick Gregg. Over to Lang. Back to Matt Brown. And that ball is played all the way back to Siegelman. Jeff Christian forces the turnover. Looking for a teammate, but nobody is home. And the ball is in the hands of Ryan Hewlings, the keeper. Ball over to Rivera. Looking upfield, and that ball is cleared out of bounds for the Red Dragon throw-in. Ball thrown in, comes down to Pete Childerson. Ball still in play along the far sidelines, and now it goes out of bounds. The officials take a moment to decide who the ball goes to. It will be a throw in for Odiata. And now the Red Dragons have three subs coming into the game. Dan Josepher, Jonathan Kowalski, and Ian Tenzer all in the game. They replace J.P. Arenas, Justin Rivera, and Jeff Christian. So head coach Ian Bird going to his bench with about 11 minutes to go with a half, trying to get some fresh legs out there. Matt Brown to Laron. Over to Tenzer. 
A quick turnover there by the Yellow Jackets, and now it's Nick Lang. Lang in the center of the field. But Baldwin Ross is able to take that ball away. Now, Oneonta's yeah. got to calm down a little bit because they can get out of shape just like here. Here is Dayton. Ben Dayton with a shot, and Siegelman eats that one up. Oneonta almost needs to take a quick <laughs> breather here. This pace has definitely quickened since head coach Ian Bird put three new players in this game. Vanden Driesch looking upfield. Ball taken away by Raymond Fitzpatrick. Lang with possession. Over to Kowalski, but he can't keep it in bounds. And here comes a Yellow Jackets throw it. Two subs now for the Yellow Jackets. Number 10, Michael Brennan, and number 20, Cody Smith in the game. Replacing Kurt Graff and Pat Brennan. Yellow Jackets with possession. Michael Brennan looking to get the ball to the sidelines, but Oneonta takes it away. Lang over to Brown. Brown plays it back to Greg. Ball back to Matt Brown. Over to Dan Scott. Cody Smith was all over. Dan Scott on that play, and he was able to take the ball away momentarily. Nice play there to uh, Matt Brown. Brown looking up for 40A, but Pete Childress said he was able to knock that one away. 38th minute in the first half, a 1 1 tie. First round action of the NCAA tournament. Round two begins tomorrow as the winner of this game will go on to play Penn State. Fitzpatrick looking upfield for Fortier. That'll be out of bounds. That's a, an interesting decision there by the defender to kick it and give him a corner kick. I believe it was Trey Artie, the defender on that play. Dan Josepher will take the corner kick for Odiata. Josepher ready to go, a low kick. Kowalski was able to get there first. He plays it back to Josepher. Ball in the box. Ben Dayton gets it up in the air. It comes down to the Red Dragons. There's Fortier. Fortier yes. with the goal. Fortier, leading scorer for Oneonta, gets goal number 11 of the season to bring Oneonta to the 2-1 lead. What a play there. Fortier got around one defender. The goalkeeper, Ryan Hewling, was able to get a hand on it partially, but not enough to keep it out of the net. And Oneonta gets two straight goals for the 2-1 lead. And Oneonta is dominant. Let's take a look at this. Beautiful play by Matt Brown, and Fortier slots it. It is Matt Brown is the one who set that one all up. Nice look from him, and then Fortier does what he does, puts it in the back of the net. Oneonta starting to take advantage of their opportunities. They, they were knocking at the door for the majority of this first half into the final 10 minutes of this First half, they've been able to get two goals, a penalty kick by Nick Lang, and now a goal by Eric Fortier, the Sudiac Player of the Year. Thirty-ninth minute, and the Red Dragons have their first lead of the game, two to one. for Odianta. Alex Streckley into the game for number seven, Eric Fortier. Goal scorer coming off the field. 
And also a sub for the Yellow Jackets. Ben Kolich in the game for Noah Eubanks. The clock was stopped for a moment. Now play resumes. Ball played over to Matt Brown. <laughs> There's Laron in the middle of the field. Ball taken away by the Yellow Jackets. There's Vandendriesch, the leading goal scorer for Ball Wallace. He's been pretty quiet today. Josepher takes that one away. Another turnover by Oniata. There's a shot on goal to save by Singleton. Nice shot. Nice shot from Baldwin Wallace. You know, what that was Judson Spradle getting off a good shot, but right at back Siegelman. Less than five minutes to go in the half. That's Trey already looking for a teammate. Oniata takes that one away. Joseph to Kowalski. Teams battling for possession and a group of five or six players go after it. Now it gets to Josepher looking for teammate Alex Shrekley, but Baldwin Wallace is able to get it back. In the last five minutes, Oniata has to keep playing hard, a uh, uh, goal to tie the game. But in the last five minutes, really momentum that Oniata has, has had. A free kick for the Yellow Jackets. Van Indrich. Looking for Cody Smith and Oniata clears it away. Another throw in for the Yellow Jackets. Trying to steal a goal late in this first half to tie it up at two goals apiece. Kowalski at midfield with it. A quick, a quick touch by Nick Lang over to Ian Tenzer. There's a turnover by Oniata. Andrew Thompson over to Mike Brennan. Brennan in the corner. Shrekley comes over and takes it away. Ball right back to Thompson. Andrew Thompson played in the box. And it's headed out of headed out of clear, out of harm's way by Oniata. Laurent with a full head of steam looking up for Kowalski. Kowalski in the box. There's a shot and a save. Oh. Nobody in the net. And that shot goes just over the crossbar. It was just, you know, the momentum, uh, a little too much adrenaline. The goal was open. All he needed to do was to have it in. That's right. all he needed to do. Ryan Healings came out of the net to make a save, and that left the net wide open. And uh, that could have been, that, that should have been 3-1. to one. Here's a replay of it. There's Kowalski. And Hewlings will, make, Hewlings will make the save. And then I believe it was Lang, Lang. Who, who ripped it just over the crossbar. He's got nobody in front of him. And then he just takes a rip at it. All he needs to do is hit it and beat the one defender. It should have been two goals for Lang in this game, 3-1 to one, Onihanta. But in, in, this kind of, in this kind of game with the momentum, how, uh, how fast that play was going, uh, the biggest crowd probably in, in Onihanta in a very long time. Your juices are flowing, and it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah, definitely one of the larger crowds on here this season. As the traders attend to the keeper, Ryan Hewlings, and the clock stops in the 43rd minute. I mean, Greg, this has just been a spectacular game thus far. It has been, but it's been a spectacular game. It's been spurts of Baldwin Wallace, and it has been pretty much all Oneonta. Uh, Baldwin Wallace has had a few opportunities the one goal was an absolute strike from uh, Thompson. You can't place it better. You couldn't, you couldn't throw it better. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just a beautiful play. So Oneonta really doing a great job, and that should have been 3-1. to one. Uh, 
nice showing here by the Baldwin Wallace fans on hand, chanting the name of Ryan Hewings, the keeper, who does appear to be okay. He will stay in the game. Crowd still in this game as Hewings is ready to go with the kick. Ball played on to Ben Dayton. And that one is taken away. Aggressive play defensively there by the Red Dragons to steal that one away from the Yellow Jackets. Very physical first half. Both teams battling for possession. A quick throw in for Baldwin Wallace. Cody Smith with the ball and he couldn't get a good foot on it and it will be a goal kick for Max Siegelman. Less than two minutes remaining in the first half. And there's the kick by Siegelman. Ben Kolish got a good foot on it. Chasing it down is Dayton, and Ben Dayton with a shot. Baldwin Wallace wants a foul called on Odeonta, but they won't get it. <laughs> that would have been huge for the Yellow Jackets, Greg had a yeah, foul no, been called you, on Odeonta. You, you can't call that, though. There's barely any contact. They both fell. That's a lot of contact. <laughs> that's oh. that's got to be a foul. A lot of contact foul. Kowalski. Kowalski was hit pretty hard, but he gets right back up. A minute remaining in the half. Nick Lang looking for Kowalski. Now it's Laron. Laron in the box, and Baldwin Wallace clears it away. Gary Laron not being selfish enough, should have took a shot. Back to Scott, looking for Laron, and it's out of bounds for a Baldwin Wallace throw in, as we have about 10 seconds to go in the half. Ball played back to Fitzpatrick, now back to Greg. And that will do it for the first 45 minutes of play. A quick-paced environment in the first half of this NCAA tournament. The Oneonta Red Dragons lead it 2-1 to one as we go to halftime. And here's one of the two goals by Oneonta. Eric Fortier gets one by Ryan Hewings right there. And Greg, this has been a phenomenal game so far. Only on to up two to one. What do they have to do to keep this lead over the next 45 minutes? You know, the the one thing that I'm worried about their offensive play has been has been very good, but their defense seems like they can they let up some some through balls there, and hey, you let one go and Baldwin Wallace gets on the end of it, that leaves Max Siegelman high and dry. I'm a little bit worried about their back four, but everyone else has been playing pretty well, and if they continue to play how they play, then they they should be able to come up with a W. and hopefully we'll get Southern reporter Mike Waltman with head coach Ian Byrne to talk about his thoughts of that first half. Again, it was a 1-0 lead for Baldwin Wallace and Oneonta got two straight goals to take a 2-1 lead. And we will go down to Mike Waltman with head coach Ian Byrne. Thanks, guys. Coach, tremendous first half. What did you like about it? Uh, I thought the heart we showed, we came back, uh, went down to, you know, early goal, great free kick. And then, uh, you know, we didn't panic. We kept our composure. We kept passing, passing. Really got on top of them. Really had them pinned back. Um, and then we know we got a couple of goals. So, a uh, great fight back. The momentum is uh, at your feet, I would say. Uh, how do you want to keep that in your favor in the second half? You know, kicking downhill has been our way all season. Uh, so, we, we want to try and get the third goal here. Um, I think the next goal is crucial for the game. 
Um, so we're going to go and attack and see if we can get the third goal. Do you think that third goal would be a cushion or would you like to see more? Uh, oh, I'd definitely like to see more, but I think the next goal is the pivotal in the game. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck in the second half. Back to you in the booth. Here in the first round of the NCAA tournament, it's the Oneonta Red Dragons 2 and the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets 1.